Hmm, there were some markers in the bin. Rhea took out five, then Sandy took out ten more. There were five markers left in the bin. How many markers were in the bin at the start? First, let's write out an equation and imagine what is happening. There were some markers in the bin. Rhea took out five. Then Sandy took out ten more. There were five markers left in the bin. So, detective, are you ready to solve for the question mark? What minus five minus ten equals five? These three numbers are all parts of the total number. We're looking for the total number of markers in the beginning. Let's add five plus ten plus five to figure it out. There were 20 markers at the start. Your detective skills are remarkable. <laughs> oh, another mystery to solve. There were 18 cereal puffs in the box. Sandy had some cereal puffs. Then Cody came and had nine more puffs. There were three puffs left in the box. How many puffs did Sandy take? Here's one way to solve it. First, let's write out an equation and imagine what is happening. There were 18 puffs in the box. Sandy had some cereal puffs. Cody came and had nine more puffs. There were three puffs left in the box. Let's solve the equation. 18 minus what minus 9 equals 3. 18 is the total number of puffs. 9 and 3 are parts of the total number. So we're looking for the last part. Let's take away 9 and 3 from 18 to figure it out. 18 minus 9 minus 3 is 6. Sandy ate 6 cereal puffs. Yum!